Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about a split uh, plot design using uh, our software. As all of you know that a split plot design is uh, mostly when the experimenter or the researcher uh, uses two factor and the one factor is uh, easy while the other factor uh, is uh, difficult to change or vary in the layout process. So under such condition we have to use a split plot uh, design and then um, uh, working a lot of uh, uh, video regarding to speed plot design, even using the agricultural package, again also speed plot design of our location. So today I will show you how to compute a split plot design uh, using the uh, do by research uh, package. Sometimes uh, people may fail to uh, load or to install the agricultural package. So the alternative solution to this problem is to use the uh, library, the, sorry, the uh, package uh, do by research. So let's call it um let's call it uh, do do e yes do bio research this package is uh, important to run uh, even factorial experiment for uh, crd uh, rcbd again also split plot design and, uh, and other experimental designs so today uh, we will discuss uh, uh, only on split plot design using the uh, do bio research uh, in our software so let's import um my data or it's our data so it is found in the desktop as you can see yeah yes so um, my data is here is a replication and I, over here also the irrigation level which is uh, 25 and 250 as you can see Again, also we have six uh, different varieties, and uh, again, starting from this column and into this column and our our uh, response variable. That means standing, uh, starting from column four up to column eleven are our um, response variable or dependent variable. So the first step is uh, it's better to uh, check the structure using the SDR function, then immediately. Uh, write the data name to our data name is d so as you can see here the structure of our data is replication irrigation variety are integer so uh, these things should be uh, converted into a factor from what they are so here is the integer we must uh, convert to a factor using as doctor as <coughs> sorry as dot uh, factor function or factor function so d then let's write here d D then a replication that is equal to a factor, yeah, factor. Then D is our data name, then replication. So type this and submit to our studio in similar fashion. Do for the rest, that means for the irrigation, is as a dot factor, which is a second option. So you have to use again and this or, uh, way. Lastly, let's convert the second factor variety is considered as a subplot because um, it's difficult, uh, it's, you know, it is easy uh, to uh, just change or to vary our layout as compared to irrigation level. So variety is uh, uh, considered as a, a uh, subfactor. Uh, and irrigation is considered as main plot factor. So by this way, we can uh, convert then D, then again varieties. So submit this one, then again, and let's uh, check our structure of our data. So as you can see here, replication, irrigation, and varieties are convert converted from here integer. The next step is uh, performing the split plot design so the split plot design is uh, especially when you are conducting when you are analyzing using the do bio research you have to use the s split function yes the split function there are a number of uh, uh, functions that are there so the split function then again uh, first you have to follow it by you have to put your data name so our data name is d then it is followed by uh, by the response uh, sorry by replication so you are gonna attach here is a replication then followed by the main plot uh, factor so our main plot factor is uh, obvious irrigation as I mentioned before 
Then again, uh, followed by the subplot factor. So subplot factor in our case is irrigation, uh, sorry, uh, variety. So uh, you can do in this uh, way. But one thing we forget here, when you are referring in the data, uh, you have to specify which response variable that you are going to measure. There are a number of uh, uh, response variables starting from yield and in with uh, NKPS. So you have to select the column and not the response variable name. So here is column one, column two, column three, and column four. So if you if I want to analyze yield only, I will select here from the data using the square bracket. Then it's column four. Then it's followed by replication, followed by main plot factor, then uh, sub. Uh, plot uh, factor. Lastly, the mean separation method. And so if you type 0, there is no mean separation. If you type 1, it is LCD and uh, type 2 or type 3. So you can get the honest significant difference as well as the Duncan multiple range test. So if I want to uh, use uh, the list significance difference, so you must type 1, then submit to our studio. Okay. Uh, our Error here is the method um, is uh, error in if drop f factor. So if such conditions happen, you have to type here is split. Yes, and so we forget here is split plot. Yeah, then uh, run this one. So by this way, simply you can uh, get uh, your result in the console part. Let's say it. So our response variable here is yield, and um, the block, we have three replications, obviously we have n-1, so 2, and the main plot factor is we have two level uh, of irrigation, so uh, you have to uh, minus 1, so you get 1. Again, the subplot factor is we have 6 treatment, so we are expecting 5 degree of freedom to have. So for both cases, we will uh, also have the, we will also, uh, the error the mean square for the main plot and error uh, mean square for the sub plot. So by this way, you can perform the split plot, uh, uh, split plot design using the uh, DoBio research. Furthermore, uh, for example, if you want to uh, see uh, or if you want to uh, carry out all the response variables that found in our data, so one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. If you want all uh, the 8 response variables, so you have to add here the quotation, the um, this, this uh, sign, and immediately you have to indicate the column name. So the column number is 11. So type this and submit to our studio, then you can get the result in this way for all response variables that you found in your uh, data name. So, as you can see here, here is the yield, and again, this is ANOVA for the uh, grain yield or for the yield response variable. And even you can get the homogeneity of, uh, uh, sorry, the normal details using the Shapiro or Wilkes test. Then uh, you can get the critical level, for example, the least significance difference is 580.96. And um, for both groups, that means for the main factor, there's no statistical significance difference in the uh, mean and green yield for the uh, main uh, uh, plot factor. Then again, uh, you can also uh, uh, get for the LCD value for the subplot factor that means um, uh, 222.442 and uh, uh, in all that means treatment 654321 there is no statistical significance difference uh, between the mentioned um, treatments but compared to treatment 1 there are statistical significance difference 
then again also we you can get their interaction again for the interaction uh, the least significance value is 314.5 as 36 then um, almost almost uh, or uh, that means the combination of all except the last one are uh, not uh, statistically significant difference so by this way you can um, get the uh, uh, spirit plot analysis using the DUI research. Uh, moreover, uh, if you want, uh, for example, to change into Horner significance difference, so you have to type this two, then you will get all the information using the other test method or mean separation method. Yes, as you can see here, it is. Uh, it is let it in too bulky. Let's minimize into only granule. Yeah, let's clear first. Yeah. Yeah, here is it. Here is it. Yes. So by this way again you can uh, conduct the uh, by uh, changing the mean separation from the LCD to other uh, method. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, all about uh, today's tutorial regarding to uh, uh, do bio research and analyzing and analysis of the split plot design. And as usual, if I have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email as well as alternatively through a YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.